Hello everyone, this is Jeff Vital Flighter Mouse. In this video we're going to put a very mature Black Widow Spider on a turntable. Now unlike a treadmill, which runs at a constant speed in a constant straight direction, the conditions of a turntable are quite different. Even though the turntable is turning at a constant 33 and a third RPM, the surface speed increases dramatically the further you get from the axis. And of course the further out from the axis you get, the more centripetal force is being applied to the spider. Now the spider has the option with this device to take the path of least resistance which would be to stay close to the center axis where the surface speed and centripetal force is the least. In nature when an animal encounters an obstacle it has the option of going over the obstacle, through the obstacle, under the obstacle or just taking the longer route around it and usually that's the path of least resistance. But the spider also seems to be aware that if it takes the path of least resistance, it's never going to get off this turntable. It's kind of a dilemma. So the Black Widow is weighing out all its options here. It's taking the path of least resistance, going to the center, then it's going to the area of the turntable where the forces are the greatest, and doesn't know what to do. It's trying to make a choice here. All the while it's probably saying, Jane, get me off this crazy thing. Now eventually the spider has weighed out all its options and has determined the only way to get off this is to do kind of an epic tuck and roll and jump off the turntable. I understand that some people would be so freaked out finding a black widow around their house that they would call an exterminator to get rid of it. But since I kind of find spiders as being beneficial, even venomous ones like a black widow, I simply returned it to where I found it, back to its spider web completely unharmed. I hope you found this interesting. Thanks for watching.